Welcome back to the channel. We are back out in the gun room again today to take a look at some Glock parts. I know everybody's excited to look at Glock parts now. Uh, there's there's a lot of good ones out there, but I tell you, huge shout out to Brian over at AIM Surplus for sending this stuff out to us to take a look at. I cannot wait to see how this does out on the range. But uh, this is one of their Glock 17 Gen 1 through 3 slides. So this is a complete slide minus the barrel. You do have to buy the barrel separate, but they have a ton of different barrel choices on their website and they're very reasonably priced. But this one here, I believe is their M3 designation because it's got these ventilated cuts on the sides and the top and it's RMR cut. So you can put your optic directly on it. You don't have to worry about that. Blacked out sights already installed and factory Glock parts installed in the slide. So that's a that's that's definitely a plus there. You don't have to worry about that stuff. It is a 416 stainless construction. So we got a good steel there. Comes with the uh, recoil spring guide rod assembly. And they sent us one of their 10 coated Glock 17 threaded barrels. So I can't wait to see how this does out at the hide. And of course, one of their thread protectors. 416 stainless construction out of the barrel, 110 twist. So it should be good to go there. I got one of the SCT Glock 17 frames that we're going to put this on here. I think that FDE is going to look really, really good, especially with the contrast and that tin coated barrel. So um, I've been wanting to try these for a while, but just never had anything to put it on. But um, I'm really excited and anxious to see how well it does actually shoot on the range. But uh, let me get this thing put together and I will meet you guys back at the hide. So we're back here at the hide. You guys have just seen some of the shooting footage that I've done with this initially. I've got almost 300 rounds through this. Now, initially when I was sighting in the red dot, we did have a couple of issues where the last round in the magazine wasn't going into battery. I'm gonna equate that to limp wristing the gun because it never happened when I was actually on the range shooting steel. But um, I've got a target set at 20 yards. So we're gonna try two five shot groups, kind of final out this review and see how it does that way. I've paired this pistol with the UTG OPS-3 Micro Red Dot. I really like these Red Dots. They're, they're very budget friendly. They hold zero and get the job done. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Stand by. First one. And same thing happened again. So on that last round, I guess I'm limp wristing it, shooting it off this wrist. Because that never happened out on the range. But uh, let me go grab the target here. I'm gonna come back and we'll get some final thoughts on our AIM Surplus Glock 17. All right, just for transparency purposes, I wanted to go ahead and run one live for you guys. A, a few rounds through this, just so you can see that it Whenever you handle the pistol properly, it does. Uh... It 
runs through them like a champ. So I'm assuming that failure is just from me limp wristing it on the bench. But uh, just wanted to throw that out there just for clarification. Let's get over to the bench and check out that target. All right, so here's our target. <laughs> I have to say, uh, I think this thing will shoot. So these uh, these barrels from AIM Surplus, they definitely get the job done. But uh, let's take a look. So this is at 20 yards. So five shots in each group. These are half-inch grids. So I'll take that any day of the week, whether or not it's uh, posted off the bench or not. That is pretty dang good. That definitely shows me that this thing will shoot. But um, there is one thing that I did not like with this setup, and that is the frame. So I love the way these feel. It's an easy fix, though. I love the way these feel. Um, I have a somewhat of a bigger hand, so this grip really, really fits my hand very well. I love the undercut trigger guard. The trigger in it is, is more than adequate. However, and it's an easy fix, like I said, the mag release is very anemic. I'm actually pushing it down right there. And as you can see, it is not fully disengaging. So you have to really, I mean, smash that mag release in to get it to release the magazine. Now, it's an easy fix, like I said. Just get you one of the replacement uh, Gen 3 extended mag release buttons and install it, and you're good to go. I had to do the same thing with my 19. I wish they would fix that. SCT, if you watch this, just do something to, I don't know, just put the extended accessories in it. They're not that much more expensive. Just so that way you don't have to be mindful of your thumb placement. If you're shooting under under stress or under time, you can just hit it and go. So that's, uh, that's really my only complaint. The slide assembly was good to go paired with that UTG red dot. I think we got a... Uh, a nice little uh, a nice little range unit here so uh, but uh, if you like this content please like share and subscribe go over to the campsite page I'll have all the links and uh, info for uh, these items over there if you want to check them out for yourself and um, as always guys shoot straight later